All right, so we're going to start undercover as a hacker, put a silenced rifle at the water tower, bring the Krugermeyer, a lockpick, and a coin. Once the level starts, just let the cutscene play out. And just don't do anything. We're waiting for the guy in the silver jacket to move away from the computer. Once he does, you can stop blending in and go and start the 3D printer. And then run out into the hole, grab the baseball. And once this guy gets just past the door, you should be safe to knock him out and steal his clothes. And then we're going to wait for the guy investigating the 3D printer to give up. And once he does, just walk over and make sure no one's looking to pick up Rose's face. Then we're going to head downstairs and we need to unlock the basement door. So just, you need to make sure no one's looking at you. And then just use the lockpick to open the door. Then we're going to head into this room with the server. And we need to shoot the security footage box. Now I wait here because I knew that there was a hacker out back you could see this dot on the minimap. Um, and we want to wait for him to be out of the way. But basically, just aim over your left shoulder, peek around the cover, shoot that and then immediately hide here. Just wait for this guy to investigate and then go back to what he was doing. Now we need to wait for Zoolander over there to finish doing poses in the mirror. Once he starts to walk away, we can just follow behind him, throw the baseball. Grab the baseball and the basement key and then drag him over and dump him in the box. And then we're going to creep out here. So one of these guards is an enforcer. So just wait till he's got his back to you. And then just run down and down this ramp. I'm going to head all the way over to the water tower now. Once we get here, get a coin out, and we're basically uh, we're going to wait till the guy is near the top of these stairs. So the first one to come over will be the guy with he's currently looking through binoculars up there. Once he walks over, draw a coin. And we'll come down to investigate. No problem. And once he does come all the way down, we're going to hit him with a baseball and stash him in that box. grab his gun and get the coin back and then wait for another guy to come over near the top of the stairs and 
and then just repeat. Get rid of that gun that we picked up. And again, once this guy comes down and picks up the coin, I'm just gonna pluck him with the baseball. And hide him in the box. And then we can head upstairs. And we just wanna throw a coin in front of this box here. And then when this guy goes to investigate. Walk around behind him. Knock him out and put him in the box. And then just climb up the water tower and get your rifle. Climb down. Right, and then rather than give you step by step instructions here, what I'm going to do, because the video is going to keep speeding up, so I'm just going to explain the general method, which is to kill someone with a single shot and then hide in this box until everyone stops looking for you. So. We're in here, you see the targets going on lockdown, alarms are sounding, eventually it'll all calm down. Search and will disappear off the top of the minimap. And when it does, you can climb back out of the box and take another shot. So, you can either do what I'm doing here, which is to use the slowdown ability on the ghost to take shots when they're on the move or if you need to play it safer than that you can just wait until they've stopped and you've got a clear steady shot take that the important thing is that you hit them and kill them with one bullet because if you take more than one shot you give them guards time to to spot you fire back and every time you just immediately hide in this crate again until searching goes away and until any white dots on the minimap have left the roof. So once you're out of here you might need to crouch to, so people on the ground can't see you. Take cover behind the sort of like uh, board that's over to the right there. Whatever. There's a lot of waiting around involved because um, it's generally kind of tricky to get them to line up. Especially when they, if they've gone to different parts of the map, when on lockdown and so on. But again, just you know, take your time, and after each shot, hide in the box. Um, I don't know what would happen if you missed with your first shot, or if you hit them and didn't kill them. I would assume you could probably hide in the box, and then again, just wait for everyone to calm down and come back out. Uh, like I say, the important thing is not to take two shots because sniping is kind of janky at the moment and the guards have sort of like ridiculous psych powers to know where bullets came from and stuff so it's generally reasonably safe if you only fire a single shot and then immediately hide. Um, I wouldn't really want to, to risk taking two shots at once because you, you might incur the wrath of the psychic guards. So, I mean, as you can see here, I'm just sort of watching the two of these stroll around the place. Rose is just sort of wandering about and forwards, washing his hands over and over, but Berg's come out of the basement. Now, I could probably shoot him through those branches there, but 
I didn't feel like risking it because sometimes the leaves tend to be bulletproof or it hits the it hits a branch and alerts everyone or whatever. And then you just end up waiting longer while everyone runs around in a panic. So once he's out there though anyway, he'll, he moves relatively soon. It's just a case of following them along. So on time and shoot them. If you need to get a shot on him when he's standing still, I believe you can hit him while he's inside his shed. You might have to be actually on the water tower rather than on this roof to get the shot on that, but it is possible to hit him through the window of his shed while he's messing with the bunch of burner at the right hand side. So keep that in mind I guess. And then all we've got left here is Rose and he's still messing around in the house. So it's just again just a waiting game. Sean Rose go. Last guy's down. Hide in the box again. Wait for him to calm down. And now we come. Now that they're all dead. We already have the 3D printer of Rose's face, it's just a case of running back to the house. Now there's the odd enforcer here and there on the map, just keep an eye out for them. But since we're disguised as the militia elite, we can just walk right in the front door. Head down in the basement and exit through the tornado shelter. And so there we go, that's a bit long winded, but it's incredibly safe. It's just a bit tedious, that's all. I hope you found it useful. Thanks for watching.